I just wanted to document the uh, building of my foundry for melting aluminum, brass, copper, and other alloys. These are uh, refractory bricks, is what I'm going to be using for the base. I'm going to use this pattern. These bricks are K26, which means they're rated to 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. They are soft. Um, these bricks are rated to 3000 degrees, and they are much harder and much heavier, uh, which is why I use them for the middle. They, uh, they'll be able to take the me putting down a crucible all the time, and they're not going to chip and crack like these might. Also, I can machine these bricks with regular hand tools, uh, just a saw, and I can cut it to a circular shape. <clears throat> I bought two crucibles off of eBay. This is one of them. It's a, a 16 kilogram copper melting crucible. At least that's what the 16 kilograms comes from. <clears throat> this is the uh, measurements for the... Oh, I'll just give you a look at the inside of the finish really quick because it's a little rougher than I expected it to be. I expected it to look nice and smooth, but for $60 it, it was a great buy. I just wanted to reset and go to my smaller crucible because I bought two. I bought a six kilogram crucible. I can't get this square to rest on the top. So there's the measurements approximately for this one. And we'll give you a look at the finish on this one. This one's a little more rough, but I still think it will work fine. Um, just a couple little surface imperfections, which I don't think are going to matter in the long run. Um, one thing I wanted to mention about the crucibles uh, that I didn't know is that they make your hands very dirty handling them. Uh, I didn't expect the graphite to rub off on my hands. I don't know why, because I've handled graphite powder and stuff before. It was just a uh, Surprise when I opened the box from uh, China. <clears throat> but that's a look at the, the crucible on the base. I will do a um, another video on the lining that I plan to line my foundry with. Um, and that'll be next.